Ooh. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. Every week, I could use a laugh. <laughs> the Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy towns and comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. Wow, I sound mean. <laughs> Sometimes that people is you. Ah, that makes more sense. It's particularly dark tonight, so dark it'll make it for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who is sitting at the table in the corner. Oh my. Oh my. Is that... Is that who you think it is? <laughs> we know why we're here. Genji. It's Genji! Ninja cyborg and all-around bad boy from Overwatch. You, you said it, not me. No matter how many times you blink, he's still there. And you're completely... Starstruck, lovestruck, fearstruck. Uh, we'll say starstruck. <laughs> starstruck. You're amazed he can be seen in public without hordes of fans smothering him. But Winston is all the rage now. Is he? Still, you'd love to get an autograph. And maybe a handshake. And maybe he'll even say your name. I hope so. Oh. Zap. Hanzo. Heart, do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell sweat on your palms? <laughs> okay. I am Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this, or are you hallucinating? Hanzo! Probably hallucinating. Do not worry, you are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. Okay, Cupid. Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing, but maybe this hallucination can help you. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Now tell me, are you in love? Hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. Hold up, you're not Cupid, you're Hanzo Shimada. From the free-to-play game Overwatch 2. <laughs> An ad! Okay, shouldn't have clicked it. Which I have, of course, played because I just recognized you as Hanzo Shimada. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured, I am Cupid, champion of love. Oh, so y'all are twins, right? that what I'm picking up? However, it is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. Love that. Oh, love it. <laughs> what a coincidence. Indeed. Now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? Uh, I think so. Absolutely. For Genji, anything. I think so. It's kind of hard to tell. The path to love is often confusing, but fear not, I am here to guide you through all its intricacies. <laughs> intricacies. What? It means I'm going to give you advice. Oh, okay. So do you wish to win the heart of Genji? I do. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to win the heart of Genji. Cupid. Genji? Truly? Why not? I mean, there were only two options, as you made sure I was aware. Of course, it's just that, well, to call Genji difficult would be an understatement. Dang, is that hard? Yeesh, you're being really judgmental for a vassal of love or whatever. Is it this because of the lore or something? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bro, okay, okay, relax. Just because I'm honor bound to assist you in your quest for love doesn't mean I lack taste, immortal. <laughs> okay, Hanzo, I, I'm just... You started this. Aren't you supposed to help people no matter what? Why do you care if I'm interested in Genji? I know of Genji. I am merely saying that reaching Genji's heart will be a difficult task. Alright. Fair enough. Sure. Whatever you say, Mr. Grumpy Toga. If you wish to pursue Genji, then I am obligated to help you. It is your love life no matter how foolish. Well then, how do you think I should approach Cupid? You'll have to introduce yourself, of course. You cannot start down the path of romance without first speaking to him. And given that he strikes me as a selfish, immature person, I would recommend keeping your conversation focused on him. He has always struggled with his sense of self, so do your best to appeal to his interests. Dang, okay. Ooh, you are judgy. You hope he'll get over his hostility for Genji soon, definitely, but that's not important right now. What is important is whether or not Genji will feel any hostility towards you. With Cupid's words in mind, you build up the courage to approach Genji. Um, excuse me? As the ninja turns to face you, the purple glow of the club's neon lights illuminates his metal mask. Hmm, are you talking to me? Yeah, I just saw you and I wanted to say. Your heart starts to pound in your ears and your mouth can't find the words to speak. Well, say something. And remember, your choices will affect how he feels about you. I really like your outfit. I saw you when I came in. I just figured I would say hello. Do you need healing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Jesus. I really like your outfit. <laughs> oh, thanks. Not many people compliment my clothes. Because he looks ridiculous. Dang, Cupid. No, I really like them. So few people have RGB built into their outfits. It's unique. Yeah, they do look pretty sick, huh? Anyway, I don't think I've seen you around before. I'm Genji. What's your name? Oh, I'm Lordy. Nice to meet you, Genji. It is very nice. Mm -hmm. Lordy, huh? That's a cool name. Reminds me of Lordy from the game Lordy's Odyssey. Oh, how'd you know? What? Did they just pick something random? <laughs> no way, is that a real game? Genji tilts his head. His cybernetic hand grips the bottom of his mask pensively. Yeah, it was. Hey, did you want to sit down? The next set is starting soon. Maybe we could watch together. <laughs> you take a seat next to Genji and watch a few sets. You can't tell if he ever cracks a smile, but he certainly doesn't laugh at any point. Weird energy to bring to a comedy club. But before you can spend too many minutes basking in the awkward silence, Cupid returns, bringing you more helpful advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Show him you can be exciting. Go perform a set. I am not funny. <laughs> Cupid, let me tell you now. <laughs> not for free. Um... Are you kidding? My material is iconic. I'm not sharing it without paying. Pay, without pay. Is the payment of love not sufficient for your talents? Love can't pay my rent. That's true. Well, humor me and pretend it can't. Look, someone just finished their material. Get up there and impress your date. I guess I am. The person gets off the mic to some paltry claps, and when no one stands to take their place, you take initiative to get on stage. Hello, everyone. I would be honored to share a joke with you fine people. You look out over the audience, and you see Genji looking back at you with what you assume is curiosity. 
While you could make just any joke, you have to wonder what would make him laugh. I don't know. Um... I don't know if making a joke about him personally would make him laugh. So let's just tell the funniest thing I know. <laughs> we tap on the mic and the feedback rings in your ears. You lean in close. Why did the building get arrested for vandalism? The crowd is silent. It was a skyscraper. After a pregnant pause, the crowd erupts into wailing laughter. You told what is truly the funniest joke of all time. You are a living legend. Everyone will remember you as the genius who reinvented the art of comedy. That's me. But among the crowd, one person hasn't been stricken with agonizing amusement. It's Genji. He remains just as still as you left him when he came up on stage. When you came up on stage. After signing autographs for the whole club, you return to your seat next to Genji. <laughs> Did you want my autograph too? Mm. So, what did you think of my joke? Do you like it? Yeah, it was pretty funny, I suppose. As he says this, you're watching someone being rolled out of the club in a stretcher, quite literally dying from laughter. But I think there were other jokes you could have told. Maybe ones related to me that would have made me laugh harder. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. You wanted me to make a joke about you? In front of the whole club? Of course. Maybe a long time ago I would have been too insecure in myself to take a joke. But now I'm happy with who I am. Even when people poke fun at me. But I guess you couldn't have known that. We just met, didn't we? Yeah, yeah technically. <laughs> Maybe on our second date you can learn more about me. Oh, you suggested a date? <laughs> Absolutely, that sounds wonderful, Genji. Genji sighs, the weight leaves his shoulders. I can't wait. Guess I'll see you again soon. He leaves and you left alone in the comedy club. Not for long though, as Keep It soon reappears. Hmm. I sense the buds of romance are already beginning to blossom. How did you think things went? You seem pleased, but there is always room for improvement. I recommend doing your best to ensure he feels comfortable with you. But good or bad, your date is in the past, and we still have a long road ahead of us if you truly wish for Genji's heart to be yours. I do, I do, I really do. He's adorable. Kind of weird in this um, game, but adorable. When Genji reaches out to you again, he suggests grabbing dinner for your second date. He even picks out a restaurant. Cafe Azur in Monaco, the exclusive playground of the ultra ultra rich. <laughs> Am I rich? <laughs> um, how do I even get here? Luckily, you live in the hopeful future. You can just hop on a transatlantic train and arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Neat, huh? Transatlant transatlantic train. Okay, yeah, yeah. You arrive at the restaurant and it looks as classy as the name might imply. A robot brings you to your table where Genji awaits you. Please tell me he's not wearing the same hoodie he wore to the comedy club. Meh, it looks good on him. Leave him alone, Hanzo. <laughs> I mean, look at it. If I owned a hoodie that cool, I'd wear it every chance I got too. Even to a five-star restaurant? I mean, if they accepted me, why not? You know? 
clearly they don't have a dress code. Especially to a five-star restaurant. Hmm. No wonder you need my help. You take your seat across from Genji, and he seems to light up at your presence. Hey, I'm glad you like me for some reason. <laughs> oh, lordy, I didn't expect to see you here. You invited me here. For a date? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Anyway, how was the ride over? <laughs> He's... <laughs> This helmet is steaming! Oh my god. <laughs> I slept the whole way. I had lots of time for gaming. I witnessed the horrors of the deep ocean. It was great. I had a lot of time to grind XP in Vivi's Adventure Online. Vivi's Adventure Online? That game's pretty fun, even though I think the Vivi's Adventure franchise fell off a bit after Vivi 3D. Right? Don't get me started on Vivi Party Dance Night. Talk about selling out. <laughs> Editors note, we're begging you not to add these to the Overwatch fan wikis. They're not real. <laughs> Either way, I'm glad you can make it. I've really been looking forward to spending more time with you. Oh, Genji! You don't have much time to feel bashful before the waitress returns to your table to take your order. You look over to your holo menu, which is like a regular menu but a hologram since it's the future. You should think carefully about what you order. Maybe choose something he'd like as well. I don't know what food he'd like. <laughs> Come on, even your dinner is going to affect this guy's opinion of you. These dating sims are hard work. In that case, what will you order for dinner? Order the most expensive dish. Hmm. I don't think he cares about expensive. And why would there be a kids menu at a five star restaurant? Do I know Genji's favorite food? Hmm. I'll have the Rikimaru ramen. Ooh, that is a good choice. <laughs> That's my favorite food. How did you know? <laughs> Easy. It's in the official Overwatch cookbook. Wow. In that case, I'll take the Rikimaru ramen too. Is that a plus one <laughs> in Genji's book? The way trends we don't have that on the menu program seems to be overridden by the customer's always right subroutine, and so it takes your order back to the kitchen without complaint. <laughs> That's really cool of you to order my favorite food for dinner. If there were an official Lordy cookbook, I would have ordered yours too. That's cute! Genji! You make note of his idea. You're always looking for more merchandising opportunities. Ooh. The two of you spend some time chatting, and after a few short minutes, the waitress brings out your meal. Two bowls of Ricky Mario ramen. It's honestly impressive that such a nice restaurant would make a dish that looks like it comes from a cheap ramen shop. This looks just as good as the real thing from Hanamura. All it's missing is the Murloc bowl. Then it'd be perfect. Oh no, how could they forget the Murloc Bowl? That's half the fun of Rikamaru Ramen. Huh, let me go check with the waiter. Maybe they have a Murloc Bowl in the back. You fetch the waitress, explaining that Rikamaru Ramen just isn't the same when it's not in branded bowls. Unfortunately, the restaurant doesn't have any Murloc Bowls on hand, but they are able to draw a crude recreation of two of the regular bowls. Is he crying? Or sorry, he's probably laughing through his uh, mask. When you return to the table, Genji looks completely deflated. You sit across from him, and he barely even acknowledges your pre presence. Even Cupid seems troubled by his sudden shift in mood. Oh, is he crying? So he is crying with his hand up. <laughs> okay. Perhaps you should check on him, Lordy. I will. Hey, is everything okay? You seem bummed out. Genji shrugs. 
Sorry, another diner recognized me while you were gone. He came over to talk to me. Oh, did they ask for your autograph or something? No, they actually recognized me from the Black Watch incident. They had less than kind words to share with, with me. Oh. Um. Should I ask him about the Black Watch incident? I mean, it is about him. And that's what Cupid says. To ask him stuff about himself. But he already seems bummed out. So like, do you want to talk about it? Should I? Uh, eh. Okay, we'll ask. What was the Black Watch incident? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm surprised you haven't heard about it. It was international news a few years ago. When I first became a cyborg, I worked for a group called Black Watch, Overwatch, Black Ops Division. Ew. You know, I'm getting the feeling I should have seen his backstory before playing this. <laughs> Mm. Yes, I hoped we would make the world a better place, but on occasion we did terrible things to achieve that goal. Until one incident exposed our existence to the public and put the entire organization under immense scrutiny. Hmm. It seems even now people have not forgotten what we did. What I did. I'm so sorry, Genji. I can't believe someone would give you trouble about it here. It's alright. I'm not proud of who I was then, but I will admit it is discouraging. I have tried my best to become a better person, but I fear my past will always haunt me. Some days it feels like there's nothing I can do to move on from who I was. He sighs, propping his head against his hand dejectedly. It's a heart-rending sight. Dang it, I ruined it. Ah! Ah! It seems he could use your reassurance. A small gesture might go a long way. Apparently, even Cupid has the sense to put aside his bitterness toward Genji when he's in this state. What do you do to cheer Genji up? Beat up whoever was mean to him? <laughs> no, that's not gonna help. Hmm... Uh, I wish I could put the first two options together. Uh, okay. Um... Would he let me hold his hand? I don't know. I don't think you have the words to help in this situation. Instead, you reach across a small table and take Genji's hand into yours. He seems surprised, but when you meet his gaze with a smile, he relaxes. He squeezes your hand, taking a deep breath to steady himself. <laughs> Thank you, Lordy. I'm sure I'd feel much worse if you weren't here. Aw, Genji. <laughs> it's the least I could do. You mean that, literally. Holding his hand was probably the easiest, least expensive thing you've done all night. Let's eat, huh? Our food is getting cold. The two of you finally enjoy your night as it was supposed to go. You don't know how en Genji eats with his mask on, but every time you look away, more food disappears from his plate. You assume it's getting into his mouth one way or another. By the time you're done eating, Genji seems happier than ever. You're glad the evening is going in a more positive direction. Hey, I wanted to ask you about something. Shoot. <laughs> How would you feel about going somewhere special for our next date? Genji. <laughs> sure. Anywhere that's special to you is special to me. That one doesn't earn you any points with Genji, but it makes him blush. 
And isn't that worth more than any kind of gameplay progression? <laughs> I was hoping we could go somewhere that's really special to me. How would you feel about a trip to Nepal? Ooh. Isn't that where Zenyatta is, right? His master? From the little bit of lore that I can remember <laughs> about him. Hmm. What's so special about Nepal? It was a very important place on my growth as a person. This may surprise you, but an isolated mountaintop helped me find peace. There's more to it, obviously, but I figured I could explain when we got there. Sure. I can't wait to hear all about your backstory. <laughs> okay. I'll see you there. I hope it'll be really special. I had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks again, Lordy. You're welcome. Kenji departs from the restaurant and you're left alone. Well, as alone as you can be when you're haunted by the vessel of Valentine's. Another day down with the third to come. Most impressive, Lordy. Thanks. How do you think Genji and I are doing? Hiya, Hanzo. He seems incredibly happy with you. Not to tempt fate, but I suspect it could be difficult for you to lose his affection now. Hey! But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Hmm. Ooh. Third date awaits. Let's go. Oh, so pretty. You ascend the snowy mountains in Nepal and the cold rudely seeps right through every layer of clothing you wore. Hard to believe that just a few days ago you were telling jokes in a comedy club, and now this is what's expected of you to keep this relationship going. I don't know, it's really pretty. As you're trudging along, keep it appears again. Thankfully you know his deal by now, or you'd think you were seeing things thanks to the hypothermia. Lordy, I need you to stress how important this date will be. Clearly you are important to Genji, he would not have brought you here otherwise. So just be sure you do your very best this time. I got you, Hanzo! I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping me out this whole time, Cupid. It means a lot. Of course, even if you and Genji are difficult at times, it is my privilege to assist you on the path of love. But perhaps I should be thanking you. Whether or not Genji's heart will be yours in the end, your devotion to love is inspiring. It has been a pleasure to accompany you. Why are you blushing? <laughs> I mean, thank you, but yeah. Are you embarrassed? Uh, let's, let's continue. Oh, Cupid, you're sounding all sappy. Don't tell me this is a teaser for the secret Cupid path of this dating sim. What? Secret Cupid path. Oh, Hanzo coming back to this okay <laughs> don't be ridiculous if there were a secret cupid path do you truly think i would broadcast it so freely i think so besides a path of that nature would be difficult to unlock you would need to say successfully with the heart of both heroes to show me your commitment to love hypothetically of course oh hanzo i'm coming back for you of course, hypothetically. But enough of this. It's time for your final date to truly begin. With Cupid's vote of confidence, you continue your journey up the mountain. Eventually, you arrive in a quaint little village. Genji is there to greet you. Honestly, you don't understand why you can't travel together. Lordy, you made it! What did you think of the hike? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was easy, but it was worth it to be here with you, Genji. Hmm, I'm happy you think so. There are a few people who would be willing to scale a mountain to spend time with me, if you can believe that. It means a lot that you did. Anyway, I'm glad you're finally here. This place is very special to me, and I hope I can show you why. 
Come for a walk with me? Of course, Genji. Gladly you take Genji's arm. He leads you all the way around the village and you can't help but bask in every sight. It's truly beautiful. Certainly not the kind of place you'd want to host 5v5 King of the Hill style combat. <laughs> okay. But what's more beautiful than the village itself is the way Genji glows while taking you through it, recounting memories of the time he spent here. He tells you everything from the story of how he first arrived here to tales of his most trying meditations. After strolling a while, Genji takes you to the old accommodations that housed him through his time in Nepal. Though he has been absent for some time, the room is still clearly his. There's an old mattress, a hoyori, and a framed photo of Genji with his brother, taken years ago. Is that what they looked like? I should really watch their backstories. <laughs> huh. Genji goes to say something, but someone else speaks first. Genji, you arrived! Is that... Zenyatta sensei I hope you had a safe journey, my student. It's Zenyatta! How sad it is the only place you can get Zenyatta content these days is the explicitly non-canon dating sim in that one short story. Well, maybe something will happen with that Ramatra guy soon. Who knows? Ooh, lots of lore. Tad bits. Master, it's good to see you again. Indeed, I heard that you were bringing a visitor, and I hoped I could meet them. Of course, Lordy, this is my master, Zenyatta. You were ready for a trek through the snow-covered mountains. But this is basically like meeting Genji's parent. Is that weird for a third date? Doesn't matter. It's happening. Now it's up to you to deal with it. Um, uh, would he like a fist bump? Hmm. It's really wonderful to meet you, Zenyatta. I've heard great things. That's a lie. You haven't heard anything. But he seems to react warmly, even so. Likewise, I'm glad you survived your journey here. You're going to ignore the threatening aura of that sentence and let him keep talking. <laughs> it is rare for Genji to have company here. I sense he must be quite fond of you. Oh, I certainly hope so. Master, you're embarrassing me. I'm sure your companionship will mean a great deal to him. He has always struggled to accept himself. Perhaps the acceptance of another will help him along his path. You never realize how much your company might mean to Genji. I think just a few nights ago you were planning to enjoy the comedy stylings of literally anyone in New York City by yourself. Now it's entirely possible you're changing the life of an Overwatch agent. I believe... Master? I sense I have surpassed my annual screen time allotment. I'm afraid I will need to depart. Ah, poor Zenyatta. But please, take my greatest blessings and enjoy the remainder of your time here. The two of you say goodbye to Master Zenyatta, and when you're left alone, Genji's previous exuberance has gone, replaced with a contemplation. Something on your mind, Genji? Just thinking about what my master said. He was being truthful, you know. Spending time with you has done a lot to help my own sense of self. But I have to wonder. Lordy, do you really think it's possible to know your true self? Wow, to be honest, that's a far deeper question than you ever would have expected from the silly dating sim you signed up for. But you've come this far, right? What's the harm in one more question? And that really is one more. I believe this will be your last chance to win Genji's heart. Or do you use it wisely? Well, what do you think? Can you know their true self? I don't know. 
But yeah, you can try. I don't know if that's helpful to you, but that's what I think. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe you can or maybe not. But I think it's always worth it to try finding out who you really are. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? <laughs> I think you might be right, you know? When I ended up like this, when my brother, he trails off. Cupid watches him intently, his brow knit with pain. <laughs> Look, I was just honest. I felt so much guilt. I would look at myself every day and despise the person who looked back at me. But as much as it hurt, I had to look or else I could not have grown from who I was. Perhaps I will never know my true self, but you're right. I must always try to see who I really am. Thank you, Lordy. I'm glad to know you feel the same. No problem, Genji. Lordy, I have really enjoyed spending so much time with you lately. It has been a long time since I allowed myself to get close to anyone. But I must admit... Admit what, Genji? Oh my god, you're making me nervous! <laughs> I feel some guilt that you have not seen the real me. You're a bit confused. You're pretty sure you've just enjoyed three dates with the real him. But before you can ask, he clarifies. We've been spending so much time together and you've only seen me with my mask on. And although my mask is extremely epic, it's not the true me. That's fair. It is really cool though. I know, right? But still. Genji takes your hands in his. His green visor stares back at you and you wonder what his eyes might look like beneath it. Lordy, can I show you who I really am? Go ahead. We already came this far. Hmm. Friendship. Oh, I wonder what the friendship path is. But we came here to woo your heart, my dude. Of course. I love you, Genji. Oh. Genji puts his hand over his heart, shocked but not all disappointed in your confession. After returning to reality, he chuckles under his breath. Three dates, man, wow. <laughs> it's funny, it seems like I could deflect anything but love. <laughs> and beams, but mostly love. <laughs> With great care, Genji reaches for his mask. Though he hesitates, he eventually builds the strength to remove it, showing you his true face beneath. Genji, you're beautiful. <laughs> If you believe so, then it must be true. It took me a long time to come to terms with who I am now. Knowing you accept me makes me confident it was worth all that time. I know my true self loves you too, Lordy. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with Genji forever and always. Thank you, Hanzo. Lug is stronger than any ultimate. New rewards unlocked. Return to the main menu to claim. That's cute. <laughs> Genji! Kenji's aim is true, but his love for you is truer. Oh my god! What else we got? Well, this was Genji's path, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, <laughs> like, subscribe, follow me, don't follow me, I don't care. This was super cute. But um, I will see you in my next video.